Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little app review for Angry Birds HD for the iPad. So, I'm sure you've played Angry Birds or at least have heard of it, and it's an awesome game, so I figured I'd give you a quick little review of it on the iPad. So, you got the achievements and leaderboards and game center stuff down there. You click on this, and you know, you got your Facebook, Twitter integration, and all of that. And then you got settings over here. You can turn off the music if you don't want to hear it, and then the info. So I'm just going to go right into play, and I'll show you a little bit of this. So, of course, I've completed this. I haven't three-starred everything yet, but I'm working on it. Just got this a few, maybe a week or two ago. But, yeah, I'll just show you level one and show you what it's like on the iPad. So you know, just your general Angry Birds here, but it's just a lot bigger, and uh, I don't know, I just like the experience better on the iPad just because it's bigger, the colors are more vibrant, of course, since it's bigger, um, but yeah, it's just feels a little bit better on a bigger screen than like an iPod or whatever. So I'm going to go to next level here, and you can see a lot more screen of the screen, which can kind of help sometimes if you are trying to get all three stars and stuff the bigger screen definitely helps so I will show you a couple of the other different worlds here mighty hoax I uh, haven't done all of these I just wanted to get a little bit of each of them open to show you them and of course the cutscenes Oh man. So it's just your good old Angry Birds. Pretty much it's exactly the same as, you know, the other versions, like I said, except bigger. And in this case, bigger is pretty much better. So I'm going to go out here and show you. Did I open this? Yes, I did all the different levels and you can see the different backgrounds and stuff and how good they look on the iPad too. I've run into no bugs at all so far with this app. Uh, there have been a couple minor you know sound bugs and stuff in the other ones but I have not run into them yet in this version so that's a good thing and yay sombreros. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, if you've played Angry Birds before, uh, you can, of course, just check out the light version of Angry Birds HD for your iPad. Uh, but, of course, the iPad versions cost a little bit more than the iPhone version. But I think it's definitely worth it because of the bigger screen. Oh, yeah, I turned off the... Volume. But I think I can change that from the settings. Yes. There we go. It's really loud. <laughs> but yeah, the experience is a lot better, in my opinion, on the iPad, but that's just my opinion. Definitely check it out. have had no problems with this app at all running on my iPad. I've really enjoyed it. And I want to thank Chillingo for sending out a promo code to review this app. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.